okay so today we are going to discuss about the jcr sql2 how we can write the jcr sql2 programmatically so first of all simply jcr sql2 is just simpler it's just a query language that is used for okay so that is used for searching the am queries like if you want to search the components nodes any node if you want to search in your query builder you can easily search it but the same thing if i want by using the back end code how we can do that things for the query builder here you see for the query builder they have their own uh, query apis just like that if you want to create the query you can just simply hit like here this is the query okay you can just simply write here query builder dot create query so here we have a two apis by using you can easily create the create queries like i'll show you come inside this here we have a query builder dot dot create query yeah so here we have a two method by using that you can create it first of all you can pass the predicate otherwise session but but when we are talking about the jcr sql2 we don't have any api so we have to manage by using the already existing api only so how we can do that thing so first of all for anything you have to take the resource resolver first of all the first thing you have to take the resource resolver so how we can take okay so simply in our servlet we have the request by using the request we can easily take it how because inside this request we have one method that is get resource resolver so you can just simply type request dot get get resource resolver at the last here you see like come go there and hit enter now we get the resource but we know that this method will return the object of the resource resolver so we have to handle it so just create it resource resolver come here and hit enter see we got the resolver now you can just simply write resolver okay once we get the resolver now we have to create the queries like the same thing we have to follow just like a query builder so in a query builder what we will do like we, what we have done like they have there we have uses the query builder this one this object and after that we have uses the create query and there we have passes the two parameter the same thing we have to do it here but here now we have a resolver and here we have one method that is find resources okay and here first of all inside this you have to write the you have to define your query like which query you want to execute so this is the query you have to define here okay so we don't have right now any query so we have to create it so how we can create you can just simply come here create here otherwise here there is no issue so i'm just creating string yeah i just want what this is the query equals to now inside double quotes you can write your query so which query i just want it so just come here here you see select star from cq page content we knows that what is the cq page content cq page content is nothing but your jcr content okay no simple it's your jcr content so we knows that this jcr content is related to a page so we have to go to the content only content folder just search which component which uh, path we are searching content and demo one so you can just simply go inside this and what we have done here like we are saying select everything from this cq page content and just give one short name that is notes okay so whenever i am just uh, taking this name that means i am taking the properties from this cq page content so here and after that i have defined the path from this path you have to simply search it after here i have performed the and operator see from this path i want it but after that this condition must be satisfied if both the condition satisfied then give me the result so here i am saying like from this cq page if jcr title is there and if this jcr title will start with this p letter then it will return the result so it has written this three result so now we will go inside this see here we have a content uh, demo 1 us en page 3 en here and after that it has written this page 3 so we haven't searched this one we haven't searched no we haven't searched this cq page what we have searched yeah we haven't searched this cq page we have searched this jcr content so when you are coming here see the type somewhere we have a type 
where it is yeah this is the type and that is cq page contain so now we have to so from the jcr contain it will search somewhere this jcr title is there or not so yeah this jcr title is here okay and it will see like this jcr title it will start from the p or not so, yeah so it has starting from the p and at the end it may be a anything we have uses this uh, conjunction that is a percentage that may it may be a anything there is not a issue but uh, jci title must be start from the p then it will return the result so just go inside the jcr content yeah here also the same it has returning a p okay here also i think the same thing like here you see p is there that's why it has returning this result but now this result i want in the form of json okay and i just want to get the title and the path for this so how we can get it what i want what i'm saying is i want the title and the path okay so simply come here this is the thing uh, you just have to copy this one once you have copied copy this come here and simplicity inside that we have to write our query once you have written your query you just have to write the comma again just try to copy it i want in a single line so you can just uh, it is in multi line so that's why it is showing like that again we'll just do one thing we'll simply paste okay double quotes okay okay now we have done it like we have okay simply we'll just remove everything and we'll again paste it okay now it is okay comma we have to write okay this is done now yeah so we have written this now you can just simply pass this query inside this query comma and here we have to write which a uh, query language you want to use not this here we have to write the query we have written it and after that what we want which query we want to execute so i just want the jcr sql2 so we will take the jcr sql2 from our java x like i have already said like our uh, uh, jcr sql2 it's not available api is not there so for that we have to take from somewhere no so we can just simply take from this okay just will just write here query dot jcr it's not there query is not there sql must be there okay it's not there no issue uh this is the query no just try to hit where is the java x somewhere see java x jcr query okay got it and after that here we have to write the jcr sql2 this is the thing we want to use no yeah if you want to use this sql you can just simply select this sql if you want to use the jcr sql2 you can just simply select the jcr sql2 after that just give and here just cut this one and instead of this we have to paste here comma and paste it this okay now this has solved it will return something like we have to accept it what it has returned so this find resources we return the result in the form of resource only okay but here we have a more than one resource so that's why we are using here iterator simple and here you can just simply write anything like this time i'm just writing a result okay so we got this result and now we can simply iterate this one like we got the iterator no so you can just simply use the while loop otherwise you can simply use the for loop now uh, like that like from the result if it has a next method has next we will use the for loop no that's better while 
and uh, here result if result has a hacks next method that means what we are saying if this result has some element inside this then this method will return true otherwise it won't return true okay after that here we have a result from this result we will simply take one iterator that means one entry we will take okay we got this entry we have to store somewhere you can just simply use this assign it and this is the next we got it now from this next okay so maybe this next is nothing but our page maybe this one is our page so what we have to do we'll just simply do one thing uh, this next we will convert into an our page manager or otherwise our cq page that means in the page api we will convert so we have to write here next dot adapt to we can just simply adapt and we will convert this resource into an page see this is the resource now i'm just i'm gonna convert into an page okay so whatever you are returning inside this adapt to it will return this object only okay so <coughs> write this this and here i got the page okay now from that page you can just you can simply print title and the path whatever you want so for that we know already we want the data in the form of json so you can just simply do one thing create the json object json create object builder create uh, json json object builder okay this is the thing we have created now after that what, what we will do these things we need inside the json array so we simply write json create array builder json array builder simple and uh, at the last we will add this all the things this job that means jo json object builder into an json array and at the last we will print this data okay we have to write inside the method only if you are trying to write outside the method here you see this response is not there okay this response is only present inside this do get method so for that we have to write inside this method only response dot what we have to write get writer dot write and after that here we have to use job dot build dot to string okay now we got the result okay so we have to deploy it after the deployment we have to check like it has returning the result or not so let's deploy I'm going in my projects. P auto install. We have to write the install, you know. Okay, we'll check. 